Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. Thank you for joining me here at the SL Rockfish YouTube channel. So nice to see you. As you know, today is an English Makes No Sense day. Two days a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, English Makes No Sense. Wednesdays and Sundays are reading with Rockfish. Same person, same last name, two different things. So I hope you're here for some fun with English makes no sense. Today we're going to be taking a look at the incredible edible egg. What? Yes, the egg. You know the egg. You can make scrambled eggs, you can make fried eggs. Well, in English there are many sayings that have to do with eggs. So we're going to call this episode English sayings with egg in them. I know. I did one on TikTok and I got another one coming on TikTok. They're both shorter because, you know, both 60 seconds. But we're going to take a closer look, more in-depth look at the incredible edible excellent sayings with egg. Now, the first ones are egghead. If someone calls you an egghead, they're a person who is highly studious or academic. It doesn't have to do with the shape of your head. It has to do with how smart you are. Now, they could also call you a bad egg. Don't be a bad egg. A bad egg is a bad person. I know. Don't be a bad egg. It has nothing to do with an egg that you want to eat. It means you as a person or anybody as a person. Like, ooh, check him out. He's a bad egg. Or we have egg on your face. Huh. To be embarrassed or to look foolish. Like, you know... You said you were going to do something, but you didn't do it, and now you're embarrassed because you got caught in a lie. Now you have egg on your face. That's messy. Okay, then those, we got egghead, bad egg, egg on your face. Now, you can do things with your eggs, like put all your eggs in one basket. I don't have a basket. I rarely carry a basket. Unless it's Easter and I'm looking for my Easter basket. But to put all your eggs in one basket means to concentrate all your resources in one area. Like if you invest in, say, oil, and then you're like, oh, all my money went in oil, but then oil goes bad. Ooh, you put all your eggs in one basket. That's no good. What if it's hot enough to fry an egg? That means it's really hot outside, so hot. In your mind, you can see if you crack an egg, put on the sidewalk, it'll just cook right there. That's too hot. Then we have, here's a saying, and it can be shortened too. You have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Or when someone, you're talking to someone and you say you were going to do something, but you're not sure if you should do it, and they go, well, you're going to have to break a few eggs. That's the shortened version. It means you have to take, a, take and break things to build new things. So you could say, well, you're going to have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Or you could just shorten it and say, well, you got to break a few eggs. I don't know. Apparently, it's a thing. But that's what it means, to have to break stuff down before you can build it back up. Got it? And then a good egg. A good egg is a good person. Maybe I should have put the good egg next to the bad egg. There's good and bad in everyone, according to Michael Jackson's song. Or was it um, Paul McCartney? So, I don't know. Good egg, good person. Bad egg, bad person. I guess it's nicer than saying you're a bad person or a good person. Now, if you are unable to cook or you don't know how to cook or you are inept in the kitchen, someone could say, she can't boil an egg. I mean, no matter how hard you try, you can't do it. Can't boil an egg. Anyone can boil an egg. So if someone says that about you or another person, that means they don't know how to cook very well. Okay. Then we have a nest egg, savings for the future. You know, you put a little money aside for your nest egg. You're not really building a nest. What you're doing is saving it for the future. So I guess it has to do with, you know, birds building a nest for when their eggs come. But yeah, so if you build a nest egg, and apparently everybody should, that's what you're doing, saving for the future. Now, we have one more. <gasps> Let's say you're trying not to offend somebody. You have to walk on eggshells to be very careful not to offend someone or do something wrong. <gasps> and in these, th this day and age, there's a lot of walking on eggshells. 
So if you've got to tiptoe around someone or be very careful when you're around someone, they're very sensitive or they're having a bad day, you walk on eggshells around them. Don't do that. I can't walk on eggshells very well. I'm kind of heavy. Eggshells are kind of fragile. But don't. To be very careful not to offend, you walk on eggshells. Got it? And then our last one, to kill the goose that lays the golden egg. That means to destroy a reliable or valuable source of income. So if you want to do something to screw up your job or something like that, people, your friend will be like, are you sure you want to kill the goose that lays the golden egg? They're telling you, don't screw up your reliable source of income. Okay? Now, got it? Let's have a little review, shall we? To walk on eggshells means to be very careful. To kill the, the goose that lays the golden eggs means to destroy a reliable and valuable source of income. If you can't cook, or you don't know how to cook, or your friend doesn't know how to cook, you can't boil an egg. Maybe you can, but maybe that's just a way of saying you really don't know how to cook. But everybody wants a nest egg. Savings for the future. Get a nest egg. We all need one. Or... Remember this saying, you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet. Or when someone says, I really want to do this, but I'm not sure if I should, and it's kind of going to be messy, you say, well, you're going to have to bake, break a few eggs. That means you have to take something apart or break things apart to make something new or improved. Then, good egg, good person. Be an egghead, a person who is highly studious or academic. Oh! It's not the shape of their head. You're not shaped like an egg. You're very smart and studious. Don't be a bad egg, okay? And then we have egg on your face. To be embarrassed. Nobody likes egg on your face. One, it's messy. And two, nobody wants to be embarrassed. So don't get egg on your face. And then we have don't put all your eggs in one basket. Means concentrate all of your resources into one area. Spread it around. Diversify. Don't count on just one thing. And finally, hot enough to fry an egg. Is it hot outside? Yeah, it's hot enough to fry an egg. Ta-da! Who knew there were so many things that have to do with an egg in English? I'm sure I might have missed one, but I thought I got them all. Now, you can read and understand these sentences. And I'll put them up so I can go through it slowly. He was a good egg. He didn't put all of his eggs in one basket. He accumulated a good nest egg. He seriously couldn't boil an egg. When it came to talking about money, he walked on eggshells. He had many investments. He didn't want to kill the goose that laid the golden eggs. He made sure to not get egg on his face. What? Come on, English.